Your effort today to give the team your first lead in the 80th inning for the quarter, what was, what was that stretch like? I think you, Chris, and Giannis had nearly all of a 15 point stretch in the third quarter. What was that kind of feel like to sort of finally come back from that 15 point deficit to finally take a lead? What did that kind of mean at that moment? Uh, just staying composed, um, you know, it's been a long season uh, since December. And, um, you know, we had our highs and our lows. We had games where you know, we got down big and come, you know, couldn't come back. We got we had games where, you know, we were up big and the teams came back. So, um, you know, we've been in every moment and uh, every situation. So uh, we were just composed, um, knowing that we just played defense the best as we could. Um, and our shots would eventually fall for us. And man, shout out to Chris in the fourth quarter. Man, he went he went crazy. I don't know how much he had. I know it was at least twenty, right? So he he he, he did his thing for sure. So what is what is that like to watch? I guess compared compared now, considering the stakes versus when you saw him maybe get hot like that. I see it every day, bro. I see it every day. He he's a load, man. On one on one, uh, he's he's tough. Um, gets his. Gets to his spot, uh, he makes his shots. Uh, he puts the time, man. I see him every day. He do, does the same thing um, every day. I've been watching, um, you know, Chris, Giannis, and Drew every day. Um, you know, they they're big with doing the same thing. You know, doing their routines. Um, you know, getting their reps in, and um, you know, it shows on the court. Um, he's a confident basketball player. Um, he takes those shots and he makes them. Um, sometimes when he misses, he's still a good shot because you know we all have the utmost confidence in him. Eric, the fact that he isn't like. I mean, shoot, to me, um, when you first come into the league, um, you know, in the combine, they do all these tests, the verticals and sprint and things like that. But you can't test what's inside somebody. That's the one thing that you can't test in the league. You can't test somebody's heart. You can't test, you know, how much they, how much time they put into the game and all that. So, um, you know, he's a big time, you know, hard work. Um, hard work always pays off at the end of the day. When um, you dedicate yourself, when you sacrifice, uh, I see it every day, man. He doesn't go out, doesn't do anything. He's all basketball, and um, he's all in. And you know, that's one thing that you can't test when these guys come into the league is, you know, if they're gonna put the time in, um, you know, and, and you know, if they're gonna dedicate themselves to this game. I know really likes the art of basketball. What do you appreciate about this football? It just seems like that's crazy, man. Um, you know, we, he he could get to his spot and knock it down. Doesn't matter. If the guy's over him, or not. He's just locked in on his shot, um, and you know he 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 makes tough shots. I mean, he's a he's a tough shot maker. I mean, he's made tough shots all year, and even in these playoffs, man, he's hit some big shots for us to you know propel us to wins. You know, we need that for him. You know, going forward as well, man, continuing on our path to try to win this championship. For you personally, what were you thinking about getting that close up? It felt like every time you saw him. Now that's just me. I'm I'm a, I'm a thirsty basketball. Fan. I like to score the basketball. That's just me, man. If I, you know, feel like I have a, a matchup, I'm trying to run to the rim and seal and you know go up. Um, you know, they uh, they didn't do a good job of getting back tonight. So you know, we watched film the last couple of days and they've done the same thing. Uh, so just trying to run to the rim. You know, uh, sit on the uh, sit in the paint and just go up with the basketball. And um, you know, we've been doing that and pricing that all year. And, you know, it worked out tonight. I don't mean right now in the moment because obviously everything's very exciting. Um, but all year, like, what's it been like to be a Milwaukee Buck compared to some of the other clubs? It's way different, man. Um, with me, I appreciate it, the journey, man. Um, when you first come into the league, obviously when you get drafted to a team, you love that team to death. Like I love the Bulls. Like that's like that's a lifelong dream of mine. Like I was in, I was in. Arkansas for 20 years of my life, and then my first big city, and first city I lived in beside Arkansas was Chicago. So it was, it was, I loved it. But the one thing that you can't really, uh, you know, compare is, you know, uh, you know, championship aspirations, man. Um, when you're on a, on a tanking team or losing team, you know, you create bad habits and you do things, you know, the wrong way. And sometimes coaches let you slide on things because, you know, you're just playing to play. Uh, when I came here, everything matters, like. The low man matters, uh, you know, help the helper, everything, everything, coaches on me about everything. So it makes you lock in more and it makes you appreciate day by day um, that much better. And, um, you know, just how hard the guys work, how, how locked in they is, make me lock in even more too, because um, when I step out there, I don't want to let my teammates down knowing that I wasn't ready. I'll go out there and try to give them my all for these guys. You mentioned, um, when you talk about Chris, that he just, he doesn't go out and just 
shows up and plays. Yeah. And um, I think in talking to some other guys who played here over the years, it's kind of like that. It's a very, it seems like a very low drama organization. Yeah. It's pretty quiet. Is that, has that been your Because it's a smaller city, man. Uh, I played in big markets, man. Vince knows. <laughs> yeah, I played I play Chicago, man. When you play on the big market teams, you know, you get all the – you know, they want the big stars, they want the big the, the big time names and things like that. Here it's not about that. We just about, like we just locked in with one another. We all on one accord, we all get along with each other, we all hang out with each other, we all, you know, know each other's family. Like it's a big time family oriented organization and I'm happy to be here and be a part of it. It just makes me come in and makes my day, makes my job easier to do. When I come in, I know every day I can come in and talk to him about more than just basketball. I can talk about about real life situations and that's that makes the game much more better for me. Not sure if you know about your friends. Um, ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bobby, this team needed toughness going into the season. You're a tough player. Yeah. You, PJ, even you know, you're at his spot. What does it mean for you to be embraced in this way and for you to be your full self and not have to hold anything back and you can just be the Bobby Portis that you can tell everybody you were? Uh, just it feels good, man. But at the same time, we still have a still have a job to do. But to answer your question, man, it just makes me like I said, it makes my job that much easier, knowing that I can just be myself every day. I don't have to, you know, sugarcoat anything or maybe just tone it down a little bit. They they want me to be me. So um, having guys and having teammates and coaches that believe in me and trust in me to go out there and be myself every day just makes it that much funner to go out there and play the game and play the game with passion. Um, I, I work. It t entirely hard. Uh, I was off 10 months. I sacrificed a lot over those 10 months, and um, it just, I'm, I'm just happy that the hard work is paying off and the sacrifice is too. Do you feel like you sort of almost like gassed up Chris and Yannis, but that your toughness kind of rubbed off on them a little bit? Back? I just try to bring energy every day. Um, like one thing about me, man, when they call me BP. I'm like the gas, man. You go to the gas station, I'm always going to have some energy and some gas for you, man. So. That's just what I do. I go out there and just play my role, uh, be myself every day, and just you know try to bring some juice off the bench, man. I know my role. I play my role to to the best of my abilities. While I'm making shots or not, I'm still gonna play hard and give it my all. And that's all that you know you can really ask of a player in this league is go out there, do his assignment, and um, play hard in his role. Can you ask the question again one yeah, more time? You, you have to work hard to get to the league. Yeah. But what are the differences between the hard work you're talking about that maybe Giannis and Chris put in that separates themselves? Uh, just a sacrifice, man. Um, you got to sacrifice. I've been on teams where, you know, like some of the best players might go out or might do things out of the ordinary. Obviously, it's COVID protocols, but, but uh, those guys really sacrifice, man. They dedicate themselves to this game. Uh, they do all the extra things. Uh, they take care of their bodies. Uh, they get on the table every day and get to stretch and get in the cold tub. They do all the things necessary for them, for them to play at a high level. Um, being with that and being around that just makes me do the same thing. I just try to follow their path, follow their lead, so I can you know, be the best I can be in my position and in my role. So um, I think what separates guys at this level, um, at their at their level that they're at, at the all-star level and superstar level that they're at, is just their sacrifice. Um, some guys, you know, are great guys and they're talented, but you know they don't sacrifice to be and to get the full potential out of themselves. And uh, I think those guys put the time in too, but the sacrifice is the biggest thing in life, man. When you want to be the best you can be, you have to sacrifice and you know some of the things that you want to do. Maybe it's going out, maybe it's family time, whatever it is, man. Them guys are super locked in on trying to win the championship. And, um, I think when Jeff T and PJ first came here, they like, damn, nobody told them nothing. Like nobody said anything. Y'all watch film every day. It's, they were joking around, like, damn, y'all really locked in. And it's been fun, man, on this journey this year.